And while Oklahoma battles one pandemic, there's another troubling trend impacting our state. Since the start of COVID, the suicide rate in Oklahoma has reached its highest point in a decade. News Force Thomas Fleming joins us now in studio with more. Thomas. Yes, data from the state medical examiner's office tell us 883 Oklahomans died by suicide in 2020, the highest amount since 2006. And I found out that it's especially affecting our adolescent population. This is mental health like we've never seen it before. Ali Friesen with Integris Health says suicide rates for Oklahomans are up, and it's specifically affecting our youth. Looking through these charts, we are seeing younger, younger and younger kids. We've seen about a 117% increase in adolescent visits to our emergency department for suicidal ideation. She says the pandemic forces many children to stay in bad situations where they could be seeing increased abuse or neglect, and they don't have any other people to turn to. When we had this isolation with the pandemic, these kids did not have those trusted um, adult resources or even peer resources outside of their home. Friesen says the most prevalent age they're seeing cases in is at 16. According to the State Department of Health, an average of two Oklahomans from 10 to 24 die by suicide every week. It's the second leading cause of death for this age group. And I need people to understand how prevalent it is. B. Smith with the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention has seen it firsthand as she's a board member of the Oklahoma chapter and a teacher. And she says this was the case even before COVID. You could say, oh, it's due to the pandemic, but what was happening before the pandemic? So let's look historically. If we're still holding that almost a decade. Senator Kay Floyd has been trying to address the state's rising numbers, and after multiple years of trying, she finally got a bill passed that she hopes will address this issue. It will set up training for all teachers and staff in every single school. Not only will they receive suicide prevention training, but Floyd says starting next year, training will also be set up for students in 7th through 12th grade. And I'm just grateful that we were able to put something together. And for anyone who does want to get involved, there will be a suicide prevention walk at Bricktown Ballpark on September 18th. And if you or someone you know is having suicidal thoughts, call the state's hotline at 211.